welcome back um, this is Sachin again and today we are going to discuss about um, how you can trigger a lambda function so uh, what we are going to implement um, a total serverless solution where um, based on an event in s3 lambda is getting triggered and once the processing in lambda is done this actually makes a call to a destination there are four supported destination right now um, Lambda could send to SNS topic, SKS queues, or another Lambda function itself, or an event bridge. But there are many source uh, supported system we'll see uh, in the demo. So there are a couple of things which we are uh, we also need to take care. So once we create this Lambda function, and it needs to be executed by S3. The permission part, how the permission will work is like. Um, a resource based policy needs to be created in lambda so you can see that you know there is a resource based policy like this um, it, which will be created in this lambda and the permission should be given to the s3 bucket the good part is like we don't have to write this on our own once we create a trigger this resource based policy will itself created uh, by AWS but um, at least we should be aware what is happening behind the scene so this we will see in the demo and another portion is the execution role so now this time when we create a destination lambda needs to make a call to SQS and that's why this execution role needs to be created so let's see how the whole um, architecture works um, in reality okay so let's start with the demo. Uh, so I have this bucket already created over here. And I have a lambda function. And let me also open a tab for the queue. So let me create a queue first. Create a queue. I'm going to give it a name of uh, my demo queue and leaving everything default and click create queue. So now this creates my queue. I go back to the main dashboard of the queue and I see there is a zero available message zero in flight messages okay so now let's come and create a lambda function I'm gonna give it a name as like my lambda fn and let's choose Python though I'm not gonna do a lot of coding over here okay by the way uh, when you create a lambda function by default it creates a new role for every lambda function you can optionally choose an existing role but because this is a demo, I am just going to leave it as a default. Okay, it takes a couple of um, seconds to create this role as well as the Lambda function. Okay. okay um, now the Lambda is there. Um, this is a default code, just written a successful response. Let me just uh, put a log for event deploy okay so as I talked about like you can create a triggers and a destination and default when you create a trigger the resource based policy will be created where it will give access to execute this lambda function to this s3 bucket so right now if you can create a trigger and destination over here but I would like to bring your attention here into these three tabs here the trigger and destination you see already here you can create from here or here but there is a default uh, permission tab so by default when you create a brand new lambda function it will create a role um, as we have previously seen this is the role name if you click it opens a new tab we'll come back to that in a moment but if you see below that by default it has an access to the CloudWatch logs and you can validate it in the policy if you open it up um, this is uh, because of this you can see um, the cloud watch policy over here okay um, so right now this lambda function does not have any other permission except pushing it into the logs so let's go back and create trigger so even before that if you see permission come back to the resource based policy there is nothing over here so now we'll create a trigger and come back to the same screen again at trigger there are many supported triggers um, so API gateway code commit kinases s3 SNS SQS there are many more uh, but for our I'll delete it after the demo and for any object created into this bucket I want to publish an event which will invoke this lambda function so I'm 
just choosing all object create events leaving the prefix and suffix i don't want to restrict or filter it for every object created this should invoke an lambda function click on add button so this um, puts an s3 over here now if you go to permissions and see the resource based policy you see that one row has been inserted over here and basically it gives this bucket permission to execute this lambda function so basically this part so this aw has automatically created it for us so now one part portion is there i need to um uh, i need to create a destination in lambda to push a message to sqs but the execution role must have permission to do so right now if you see the execution role has only permission for cloudwatch locks there is nothing um, other than this over here so let's fix that part so i have already opened it over here so what i'm going to do here is attach a policy and sqs and for now sqs full access should be okay okay so now this um, role has all the required permission now we can create the destination click on destination add destination uh, choose the SQS topic and by the way uh, by default I want like for all successful response it should uh, create a message in the queue choose my demo queue and save over here alright so right now still there is zero messages over here now what I'm gonna do here is come into S3 and object upload and I already have created a file and I just upload it over here okay um, so soon it should uh, trigger this lambda function which you can monitor in the logs over here refresh and if I could go here and refresh okay and we see that one message has come over here um, in fact you can click the cloud watch logs and remember we have a print statement for the event which the logs is almost the same time so view as text and this is the print statement which we have put over here and if you see um yep this is the file name um, which i have uploaded so this is the logs and the same message has traveled all the way through the same event from s3 to lambda and after execution this goes to the sqs queue and that's what we see one over here in fact you can actually these see um, the content of that message just click on send and receive message and i don't want to send it this is just one for receive you can click pull message you see one message count over here click on this and expand it you see the same event has come over here all right so that's pretty much um for uh, this demo to showcase that how powerful lambda and how it can integrate with other services and you can create a full serverless uh, architecture all right if you like this video please give me a like and thanks for watching